Hi, I'm Mike Roberts, president and founder of SpyFu. Today I'm going to give you a brief tour of the new subscriber advantages we've packed into this release. Everything we've built for this release follows a consistent theme. It's all about saving you time and money by putting the most valuable and relevant information front and center. One of our biggest challenges at SpyFu is actually information overload. On SpyFu, when you type in a domain name, we're going to give you a list of every keyword that domain buys and every keyword that they rank on organically. That's a huge list, often hundreds of thousands, even millions of keywords. Realistically, that's just too much to sift through. Our goal is to highlight and prioritize the opportunities that you can act on today. So every time you type in a domain, we're going to show you the best, most successful keywords that domain buys. And when you use SpyFu Combat, we're not only going to give you the keywords that your competitors are buying that you aren't, we're going to prioritize that list so the really good ones are on the top. And when you look at the organic keywords that you rank on, we're going to show you how much money the traffic from each keyword is worth, and better yet, how much more it could be worth if you're ranked number one on that keyword instead of, say, seventh. So let me take you on a quick tour of the new features in this release of SpyFu. First thing I want to show you is what we call domain ad history. The most basic premise of SpyFu is type in any domain and see exactly which keywords they buy on Google, uh, Google AdWords. So domain ad history is not that big of a deal, except that it takes the very core premise of SpyFu and makes it like 5,000 times better and a million times more actionable. Now my elevator speech changes from type in any domain and see exactly which keywords they buy to type in any domain and see instantly their very best keywords, how long they've been buying them, and every ad variation they've ever run. Domain ad history delivers what you need to know in the most streamlined, time-saving way that we've ever come up with. Plus, we've integrated it with SpyFu Combat, creating a powerful combination that not only delivers results, but highlights the best opportunities that you can act on today. This release is huge, and I guarantee people will try and copy it. Let's take a look at a few examples. The first place you'll notice domain ad history is right at the top of the domain page. There's a couple of other major changes on the domain page too, but I'll get to those later. Now, one of the few unerring rules in search marketing is that if you advertise on nothing else, you should start with your own brands. And that's because you're pretty much guaranteed to be profitable if you advertise on your brand. So here we're looking at apple.com. And guess what? We're showing a lot of branded keywords in their top 10. iPod, iMac, Apple, MacBook. Keep in mind, they're buying over 24,000 keywords, and our sort doesn't pay attention to anything semantic, like iPod is an Apple product. We're just calling it how we see it. We're saying, based on the way Apple.com is behaving, it looks like the keyword iPod is a moneymaker for them. And you know what? My spidey sense tells me we're dead on. The only thing that seems a little fishy here is that nothing, there's nothing here about the iPhone. Turns out there's a good reason for it, and I'll cover that in a different video. For now, let's take a look at another example. I want to really push this baby to the limit. Let's see how good this sort really is. Let's look at the biggest advertiser on Google, eBay. These guys buy over 1.6 million keywords. So if we get the sort right here, well, there just isn't a bigger test than this. So let's take a look. This is the point where I have to physically restrain myself from acting like a drunken frat boy on camera. But seriously, look at that. Out of 1.6 million keywords, we're 5 out of 5 branded keywords in the top 5, and 7 out of 10 in the top 10. Now, I know exactly what's going on here. I mean, I invented the algorithm, but I honestly can't believe how incredibly accurate this is. Anyway, I know how well this works at picking out our most profitable keywords, and the only real test is to look at how your domains, look at your domains and see how it looks to you. And that's why these top 10 keywords are free. Let me real quickly give you a tour of the advantages that you only get when you sign up. I'm just going to touch on some stuff real fast and go into them deeper in other videos because believe it or not, there's actually a lot more cool stuff in this release of SpyFu. Okay, so each of the colored boxes represents a date and time when this domain actually advertised on this keyword. Every time the box changes colors, like here from dark green to light green, that means the ad copy changed. So if you click on these boxes, you can see what's happening. Here you can see that Apple tried the headline official iPod store for the first few months, but eventually went back to their original iPod at the Apple store. When you subscribe, you can click on any of the keywords and see the entire history of everyone who has ever put an ad on that keyword. This gives you a much better sense of the overall quality of the keyword. That is, are there other domains that are also successful? What kind of ad copy works best, etc. 
I did a series of three videos on, on, the, on the many and awesome ways that you can use ad history to spot several different types of losing keywords and to build winning ad variations. Also, if you're a subscriber, you'll see these four buttons. Export to Excel and Export to CSV are pretty self-explanatory, except that when you export, you're going to get everything, not just the top 10. Anyway, let me show you where this View More button takes us, because this is where domain ad history starts getting good. Everything you see from here on out is accessible only for paid subscribers. Okay, so now instead of looking at just the last six months of the 10 best keywords, we're looking at a full year of everything. Also, when you click on an ad here, you see the entire timeline of tests and improvements that they've tried. And every time the timeline goes from gray to white and back to gray, it means they change their ad copy. Definitely makes it easier to spot changes when, they're when the changes are highlighted for you. The other thing that's really useful, and again, you can only get when you subscribe, is that you can check out the absolute worst keywords these guys have tried. 